How to make money while you sleep. Warren Buffett said, if you don't make money while you sleep, you'll be working until you die. Right now in the world, we have wars. We had COVIDs and lockdowns. We have it soaring costs of living. Your job is at risk. Interest rates are superficially low. The cost, do you know my electricity bills can have estimated eight grand this year. I'm going to have to get rid of my electric blanket. I think I said that one yesterday and I am going to have to get rid of that. Uh, and the kids power in their bedroom. No PlayStations for my son. Eight grand a year. Eight grand a year. So this is, the world is in crazy mode. But there's a massive opportunity. But. If you want to not just survive, but thrive in these disruptive times, you must make money while you sleep. So I'm going to share with you strategies and tactics to make money while you sleep. Get pen, paper and notes right now. Don't go anywhere. Are you ready? Shall we do this? If you want to make money while you sleep, rule number one is your product or service or your stream of income must be digital. It must be accessible online. Because anything that's physical probably doesn't make money through the night, doesn't make money in another time zone. Now, property kind of does. So someone here has said, is this possible in Africa? Yes, it is. If you want to make money while you sleep in any country in the world, your product or service must be digital or it must be accessed digitally. So that's rule number one. Have you digitized your product? Now, let's say your product is physical, but... You sell it online, you know, on Amazon, on e-com sites, on your own social media channels. So rule number one to make money while you sleep is it must be digitally saleable, digitally scalable and digitally accessible. Even if ultimately the product isn't digital. Let's say the product is physical. Well, then you must generate your leads and your clients digitally. Too many businesses are still mom and pop businesses. When people say to me, hey, Rob, I get all my business from referrals. You know, that's something that they brag about. That getting business only from referrals is nothing to brag about because you will never grow fast. You will only grow slow. Okay, rule number two for making money while you sleep is you must be able to earn on it 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, no downtime. So if your business is seasonal, or you make all your money in December like a lot of leisure and retail and food. Or when the office hours are closed, people can't buy your product or service. You cannot make money while you sleep. And it is absolutely vital that you make money now while you sleep. Because if you make money while you work, you can make money maximum eight hours a day. If you make money while you sleep, you can make money 24 Seven, 365. So let me ask you this. Can you make money on your products or services 24 hours a day? Now, my audio books that I sell on Audible, I must have a dozen on them. People can buy them in any country in the world, 24-7, 365. You never go to Audible and it says, sorry, office is closed. Can't buy Rob's book. Start now. Get perfect later until next week. Sorry, it's Easter. Sorry, it's Eid etc. You never get any of that. This is why I write so many books. People say, Rob, why do you write so many books? There's two reasons. One, writing books is therapy for me because I repressed a lot as a child and that is being expressed as an adult. So it is kind of, you know, I like sharing content. It's something I love to do. But two, I write a lot of books because these will be assets for decades to come and I can make money 24-7, 365 and it's digitally deliverable. Okay, rule number three then, and I talked about this on my talk yesterday entitled um, How to Make Recurring Income, and that is your assets must be evergreen if they go out of date, um, or if they can be lost or hacked or stolen, or they're just not useful, um, they, their value goes down too quickly, then you're not going to make money while you sleep. So an evergreen asset never goes out of date. It might be information that's specific enough, but general. Like if I said, oh, it's Rob Moore and interest rates are 0.5% and inflation is 5.7% and tax has just gone up from 18 to 25% for corporations and um, 
national insurance has gone up to 14.5% from 12.5% or whatever, that content goes out of date in a month or a year. And by the way, when your asset goes out of date, people are, look at you like you're behind the times. So you must update your assets and your content and your products and your services and ideally sell products and services that never go out of date. So this is not a good example of this jacket because this will go in and out fashion or maybe it will never come in fashion. But what really good brands do is in their line, they always have um, items that never go out of fashion. So they have high fashion and then next year or the year after that might not be in fashion anymore, but they'll have items that never go out of fashion. And that is the, um, the staple revenue stream for them. OK, rule number four to make money while you sleep is you must be able to scale it. It must serve vast numbers of people. There is no limit to the amount of audio books I can sell on Audible. So give me a yes in the comments if you've ever read or listen to any of my books, money. Start now, get perfect later. I'm worth more, opportunity, life leverage, routine equals results, property investing secrets, multiple streams of property income, etc. Give me a yes in the comments if you've ever read or listened to any of those. Here's the great thing about books, audio books. I could sell one or I could sell a billion. There is no limit, no limit to the amount of books that I can sell. Not even on Amazon with stock, because Amazon will print on demand, which means if you sell out, they'll print more. You sell out, they'll print more. You sell out, they'll print more. So if you have a product or service that is not scalable, you can only sell one or five of them, and then they go out of stock for months. I tried to buy my son a new set of golf clubs. You cannot get a left-hand set of golf clubs in his side size until 2024. My son will have left home by then. He'll be 25. I'm just going to get my water. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. It's all right. I'm still here. So you must be able to serve vast numbers of people. You mustn't ever sell out. So a great way to make revenue is from your content. You can never sell out of your content because you can repurpose your content onto YouTube and podcast and Instagram and TikTok. Also, if you've delivered content, and then you're thinking, hmm, I've shared that content. You can just come up with more content. For example, I'm here at the Recurring Income Summit. We are live. I've done this event. What have we done this event, Joe? Six, eight times? Yeah. Six or eight times. And seven. seven, let's say seven. Now, this talk is new, but it's not new. Because each time I deliver content, if I answer questions and if I contextualize my content, my content can always be new, even though it's based on the same concept. So this makes content infinitely scalable, infinitely repeatable. The next thing, if you want to make money while you sleep, is your products or services, they must be instantly consumable. So the problem with trying to order my son's golf clubs is he'll get them in six weeks. He'd have outgrown them by then. So if you can't immediately deliver your products or services, people are so impatient now. You know you want to go and buy a sofa and it might take six or 12 weeks to come from Italy. Like they're walking it from Italy, two of them left a bit, right a bit. I mean, what world are you living in now? We're all so impatient. We want immediately consumable. So here, just a quick summary then of my rules for making money while you sleep. Um, now, you have to listen to my previous talk on how to create recurring income to connect the dots. Number one, your asset must be digital. Number two, you must be able to earn on it 24 hours a day. Number three, it must be evergreen and never go out of date. Number four, it must serve vast numbers of people and be scalable. And it must be immediately deliverable or consumable. There we go. Boom. All right, next. So let's say you're planning to build multiple streams of recurring income. So not only are we gonna share with you and teach you how to do one stream, but multiple streams. So I've got eight different things that can help you build multiple streams of income. Now remember, if you have any questions, put them in the chat. I'm gonna take questions as we go. Ideally keep them on digital assets, recurring income, content creation, etc. 
So step one to build multiple streams of recurring income is make sure you are set up on every social media channel. Social media is free and you can reach thousands, hundreds of thousands or millions of people for free. Why would you not be on all social channels? Even if you're a bit of an introvert, there are still ways to leverage social media without going live. For example, you can do some pre-recorded content and then publish it. So are you on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok? Do you have a Facebook group? YouTube, podcast, etc. And there, there are all these new social media channels coming out. Clubhouse is, stroke was big. There's Getter and Rumble and the list goes on. Anytime a new social media platform comes out, set up an account on it. At least get it set up. Populate it with a bio. I'll give you a little hack here. Are you ready for a little hack? Give me a yes in the comments if you're ready for a little hack. I got a little hack. A hacky hack hack hack. Are you ready, Jack, for a little hack? All right, here we go. Open a Word document and um, put your bio into a Word document and put all your information, like your date of birth, your email, main email, your CV, and any information you usually need to set up an account on social media. And then that becomes a template that you can use to copy and paste to set up all new social media. So I have a VA, I've had him, a virtual assistant, I've had him for 15 years, and he's got all my information in a document, so anytime there's a new social media channel, he can just set it all up for me, super quick, so I don't have to faff around with it all. So it's a little hack for you there to increase the speed and reduce the friction of setting up new social channels. Okay, so once you're on every channel, and they're all populated. Now, let me give you some context. Why would you want to be on every social media channel? Let's Let's have you engaging in the chat. Why would you want to be on every social media channel? By the way, I'm not saying spend an hour a day on every single channel. I'm at least saying having an account on there. Why would you want an account on every social media channel? Yeah, one, you've got access to multiple demographics. Two, you can engage with potentially millions of people for free. Three, not everyone uses all social media channels. Four, so people can find you and you're accessible. Five, you'll get organic followers because people will find you on social media media to maximise your exposure. There you go. So why aren't you on them all? Okay. Number two then of creating multiple streams of recurring income, once you are on all social channels, is to post regularly on social media. So I keep a folder of content that I create and I have different forms of content. I have quotes, live videos, pre-recorded videos, short form, medium form, long form, articles and blogs, personal type stuff, you know, pictures for stories, etc. And anytime I get an idea for a piece of content, I just stick it in this document and then I send it to my VA and I say, hey, will you post that? over the next three weeks across all social media channels and he tweaks it for each channel and he ensures that he doesn't post it at the same time on the same day on each channel. And then when it does well on a certain channel, he tells me and then we adapt our content. So I'm a human algorithm. So what a human algorithm does is it look, he, she and they, See what I did there? He, she, and they, and we. Um, You look at all your content and the titles and the lengths and the, the actual platforms and what works you do more of and what doesn't work you do less of. And over time, you become intuitive and your content gets more reach, more engagements, more shares, etc. I'll give you a little example of this. I learned not to have long waffly intros and get straight in. Did you notice twice when I hit the button, I started with, if you don't make money while you sleep, you'll be working until you die. Give me a yes in the comments if you noticed that. That's because I'm going straight in with a title, a little pattern into it. I'm not going, hi, it's Rob, and how are you? Isn't it a beautiful day today? And what do you think of my jacket? And how you all doing? And yeah, man, just getting ready to do a live. That's how most people start. Fucking hell, I haven't got time for that shit. So I've learned you gotta get straight in. 
pattern interrupt, test headlines, etc. So over time, you are a human, human, a human algorithm, a human algorithm. And as you post the same piece of content across all channels, but in different formats, you start to figure out what works. You get maximum engagement, maximum shares, maximum reach. And now all of a sudden you're like, well, it's well worth my time doing social media because I'm gaining thousands of new followers. In fact, um, do you all follow me on Facebook? Jordan, can you go onto my Facebook page, get my Facebook um, page link? I think it's Rob Moore Progressive. And then put it in the chat. Obviously, you on this video, you're all watching on Facebook anyway. But let's just check. I better not check for the Liverpool score. Yeah, so in the last 24 hours, I've gained 900 followers on Facebook. 900. Just from going live once a day. 900 followers. So um, make sure you're following me on my Facebook page and then you can start to model what I do. You, you guys are following. Oh, I can't help it. I'm going to have to check out the score. Shit. 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 No one full time. Yes! Woo! All right. Anyway. So the more you post, the more of the human algorithm intuition that you build. And then you can start to monetize social media. Now, I'm going to list the different ways you can monetize social media. Are you ready? Give me a yes in the comments if you're ready. Go and all follow me on my Facebook page first if you haven't already. Although you guys are watching on my Facebook page. But if you don't follow me, just hit the like button or the follow button or the stalk button. Some, some people should have a stalk button. Some people do stalk. <laughs> I'd like a stalker. Maybe I wouldn't. Right, so. Every live I go live on Facebook... I earn money. So on Facebook Lives, you can have ads run in on your Facebook Lives. Now, I didn't do that for years because I didn't even know that feature existed. And I thought, mm, yeah, but my followers and fans, they may not like a little ad on my lives. I'm very British. I'm not going to do it. I'm all right. I've made my millions. I don't need the money. Nah. And then one day I thought, do you know what, Gamble? I'm just going to press the button and see what happens. And the worst the worst video will earn me $50 and the best one will earn me nearly $4,000. So far, that's the range. So on average, I'm probably earning 300, 400, I don't know, dollars per live. Something like that. And I'm going live about five, six times a week. I should be going live 10 times a week. You can access that feature too. So write that down. That's feature number one. In fact, there's 21 different ways to um, monetize social media and turn on all the features. Um, if you'd like access to the document I spent a lot of time writing with my VA on the 20 to 21 ways to monetize social media, write media in the chat. Everyone on the Recurring Income Summit, Joe, I'll give them for free anyway. Okay. Um, Sunip's got the... Shouldn't say much. He's got the document, so just get the document off him and... Um, in the Recurring Income Summit, they can only have it if they stay to, to the end end. Okay. So sh share it right at the end, only if they're there to the end end. If any of you in on my Facebook Live, just write media in the comments. That's it, media, just like that. And I will give you a link to access that document. And by the way, other gifts, like my 19 Ways to 10 Extra Social Media Following, my PAVA and Outsourcing Document. I've got loads of cool gifts and bonuses for you. Just write media in the chat and I'll send you a link to access it. Um, all right, cool. So next then is when you find a good piece of content that does well on social media, make sure you post it on all the other social channels. So people don't think intuitively. They don't think um, systematically. They always think in terms of labour. They're always like, oh, I've got, I've got to just do more work. And they're always starting again, 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 again. Whereas if you find a, a piece of content that works, save it. Post it every six months on the same channel and then repurpose it and post it across all other channels. By the way, if you're finding this content useful, please hit the share button. Get this. Do you know I get 400% more shares if I ask for them? So even though I don't look very British, 
I'm, people often say to me, Rob, you're the most American British person I've ever met. And I actually take that as a compliment. But I am often quite British. Here's how I'm quite British. Number one, I don't like asking for money. Number two, I don't really like selling. I taught myself to do those both. But number three, I don't like asking for anything. So I always thought, well, if my content is good, people will just share it. Don't ask for shares. I mean, that's just lame. Do you know I started testing it as the human algorithm? Uh, and do you know that I get 400% more shares? 100 turns into 400 if I ask people to share. Human algorithm. So if you're watching the live, please hit the share button. If you think this pe content is useful for others too. Um, because, hey, look, we should all be giving back, shouldn't we? I can see you all writing media in the comments. So um, exactly. If you don't ask, you don't get. So anyone who writes media in the comments, I'm going to give you my 21 ways to monetize social media document that me and my VA wrote. By the way, that document isn't just a list of 21 ways of tools to monetize on social media. It's how to unlock them, where to access them, how to apply for them. And 19 ways to 10 your social media following, etc. And remember, Joe, everyone has to be here at the end end to get that. Because mm -hmm. you're not going early, lazy buggers. Yeah, watching you. Okay, so I've been asked by Kathy, is there one platform that can post the same content to all your social media at the same time? There are syndication or scheduling sites. I don't like them. Because... The format on TikTok versus Instagram versus LinkedIn versus Facebook versus YouTube is totally different. So actually, you're better, better off writing the content on one channel and then what works, repurpose into different formats. So, for example, when I ask my friends and mentors on TikTok, they tell me that seven to 20 seconds is the ideal length, whereas on a podcast, 30 minutes is the ideal length. I work, I work to about a 12 minute average on my Facebook lives. And what I generally do, this is longer because it's a bit of a masterclass. But what I generally do when I go live on Facebook is I watch the numbers. And they'll go up and up and up and up and peak. And then they'll start to go down and down and down. And they might go up a bit. But as they start to drop off, then I'll, I'll, I'll start the end. And I'll wrap up and do a summary and finish it. So Because I, I, I don't want it to then just drop and drop and drop and drop. So... I don't know what the ideal length of Facebook is, but I can watch if the numbers go up or down and then stop as the numbers drop. But the average seems to be about 12 minutes, something like that. So what you do is test on each social media platform a piece of content. And then when it works on one platform, repurpose it into multiple pieces of content. It's really easy to do that, by the way. So, for example, this live, I've made some notes here on my laptop. People think I just run my mouth off for a living, but um, I do always prepare. So there are notes. So I've got here how to make money while you sleep. One must be digital. Two must um, be able to earn 24 hours a day. Three evergreen. Four serve vast numbers of people. Five immediately deliverable and consumable and six scalable. I could do that in 15 seconds and that could become a TikTok. I could do that in 30 seconds and that become a reel. I could create an image quote and put that on Instagram. That piece of content I could do a day on that piece of content as a masterclass going into technical detail or I could do in fact let's should we do a do a live demo let's do a live demo <laughs> live demo I'm going to do a live TikTok demo I need to look at the notes but uh has anyone have either of you guys got a stopwatch okay so ready ready for a live demo <gasps> I do live demos the risk of failure I oh, know you started you you've 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 shot too early. You've started too early. Right, stop. Right. As soon as I say how to, press the button. How to make money while you sleep, six different ways. Number one, you must be digitally downloadable and searchable. Number two, you must be able to earn 24 hours a day, 365. Number three, your content must be evergreen and no, never go out of date. Number four, you must serve vast numbers of people. Number five, your product or service must be immediately consumable and deliverable. And number six, it must be scalable. Boom. 21 seconds. All right, I slightly fucked it up, but there you go. 21 seconds. So if I knew that this content went down well, then I'm going to do it on every channel. So you don't actually have to post on every channel. You test content, a pitch um, or a message on one channel and then test on a different channel and a different channel. And then the one that works, you can scale and repeat in multiple formats. Now, by the way, if you follow me 
on all my social media, then you can see me do this. Um, Jordan, will you go and get my TikTok more money secrets link? So my longest form content is YouTube, podcast. Then my second longest is probably Facebook Lives. And my shortest is TikTok. So Tony has said, what's with the silly gold shoulders? What's with the silly comments? <laughs> this is my day two jacket of my live events. This is what this is. Night fever, night fever. <laughs> Um, it's been a while since I had a coffee. Maybe that's why I'm going a bit silly. This is Alexander McQueen, I'll have you know. It's expensive to look this stupid. All right, so um, Jordan's going to put in the chat on the Recurring Income Summit my TikTok account. My content there is 7 to 30 seconds. Right, Suzanne's asked a good question here. How does this approach make us money? Because most of your clients, most of your leads... Most of your buyers and most of your prospects are going to come from social media. That's how. And by the way, if your clients and prospects and leads are not coming from social media, then you are not globally scalable and reachable. You are probably a local mom and pop business. So if you do not leverage social media, you're either going to have to do expensive paid ads or you're not going to be able to scale. And your goal would be to grow your social media following such that when it's time to sell a product, a service, mentoring, masterminding, content, courses, e-commerce, etc., you can just sell it on social media. So this, Suzanne, um, great question, by the way. So this is how this approach helps you make money. The bigger your following, the more customers you have. The bigger your following, the more distribution you have the more reach you have that you can turn into revenue, the more impact you have that you can turn into income. All right. Okay, so I believe that there are the three S's for growing your reach. Now, the reason this was a good question by Suzanne is because so many people are spending ages on social media and wasting their time. Do you remember yesterday when I said that um, there are consumers and there are producers on social media? So if you're consuming, you're scrolling and scrolling and swiping. And if you are a producer, you are creating content, products and services that you sell on social media. Even Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran's one of the biggest artists in the world. Do you, do you know he said, I don't do selfies on social media. It is a promotion tool. Social media is a promotion tool. Now, by the way, do you know the difference between sales and marketing? Give me a yes in the comments if you do, and a no in the comments if you don't. And you can be honest, I'm not going to judge you. Do you know the difference between sales and marketing? Okay, so this is why social media is vital no matter what your product and service is. Imagine a shop. Sale. I went to Tom Ford yesterday um, because my wedding suit uh, has got a um, hole in it. And I went into the shop. Once I'm in the shop and I buy anything in the shop, that person has sold me. So sales are once I'm in the shop. Marketing is I've got to get in the shop. If I'm not in the shop, I can't buy from the shop. Sales is selling in the shop. Marketing is getting people in the shop in the first place. Social media is marketing for you. It's getting people in your shop. So many people have got a great product or service. They've spent hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands or thousands on degrees and courses and masterminds and mentors and coaches. And they have no idea how to do marketing. They're shit at marketing. They can't get people in the shop. And the people who make the most money in the world know how to get people in the shop. They are the best marketers. So this is why social media is vital. And I've talked a lot about it here on making money while you sleep. Social media never sleeps. It's 24-7, 365. Social media is free and you can gain all access. It's basically the greatest marketing tool in the world. Now, there are Facebook ads and YouTube ads and there's a load of ads you can use, but that's expensive. And I'm helping you do it low cost or free. 
So the three S's to be brilliant at marketing are one, social media. We're covering that already. Two, SEO and three, subscription revenue. So I'm already covering social media. SEO is search. So when people Google you or YouTube search or any other online search, does your name come up? Are you searchable? Do you rank highly? Can people find your blogs, your products or so? You know when people Google something? Right, so I'm going to Google something. What shall we Google? Alexander McQueen. Let's do that. Let's Google Alexander McQueen. A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R McQueen. Alexander McQueen. I am Googling Alexander McQueen. Okay, so there's an ad that Alexander McQueen are running. Then there's Alexander McQueen. Then there's Selfridges. So Selfridges rank number three on Alexander McQueen, which means they're going to get a massive load of purchases off the search of Alexander McQueen. Vogue are number four. Flannels, another shop, number five. So there's probably a thousand stores that sell Alexander McQueen. But, Selfridges and Flannels rank. They're getting all the sales. No one else is. By the way, if you're just tuning in, um, watch the replay. <laughs> some, some people have asked for a roundup. Yeah, I tell you what, I'll start again. <laughs> right, now let's go. Now, when you Google, you've got all shopping images, news, maps. So let's go on to shopping. Let's see who's on shopping. Mr. Porter, Farfetch, Flannels and Harrods. They're top on search. So they're getting all the money. No one else is. So the three S's of great marketing online, social media, SEO and subscription. Are you searchable? Discoverable? Whether it's just to generate leads and interest or whether it is to purchase your products and services. And then the third S is subscriptions. Now, my great friend Dylan Denicha, he already shared a great way to build subscription revenue. But right now, the world is changing. I don't know if you knew this, Dylan, Joe. Do you know now you can subscribe to Volvo? Don't even have to buy a Volvo anymore. You can drive them on subscription. Most people don't know that. We all know you can get your food delivered on subscription. We all know everyone has Amazon Prime where you get all of your utility, your... Um, you know, like your toilet roll, your toothpaste and everything else just get automatically delivered. We all consume content like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, yada, yada, gym and all of that. Pet food. Pet food, everything, insurances. So if you're probably paying hundreds, if not thousands of pounds in subscription revenue. So let me ask you this. Are you generating thousands of pounds by having subscription revenue. And my platform, Rob.team, it does exactly that. Now, look, I only charge a fiver a month. Why? Because I want to help people and I want to build tens of thousands of members of Rob.team. But if you are a start or a scale up entrepreneur, you want to monetize your personal brand and social media, you want to leverage the creator economy, you want to build multiple streams of recurring income. You want to build digital assets. Let me ask you this. Are you a member yet of Rob.team? Because if you're not, I think you should join right now. So give me a yes if you're a member of Rob.team. Give me a no if you're not. And we're just going to put the link in the comments. Now, you literally just have to type into a browser, rob.team. Now, people have said to me they have had more value in Rob.team than paying tens of thousands of pounds for American courses and mentoring. So some of you who aren't yet a member, you need to go now because I've got to finish in a couple of minutes time and then I'm gone and then I'll forget to talk to you about it. Do you know what? I hardly ever talk about Rob.team. I should talk about it way more. So the link is R-O-B dot T-E-A-M. Uh, you can either click it, Jordan shared it. If you can't click it, 
Just go and open a browser right now. Many of you are saying you're not a member, so just open a browser and t type in rob.team. Do it now. Yes, it is the same as the Facebook supporter program if you're already a member of that, so um, don't worry. You'll get all your details, your login and your access. Um, we have got probably 45 different masterclass courses in there. Um, we've got my six stage seven figure launch model. I've done six and seven figure launches. Um, I've also got the content creation masterclass, the content repurposing and omnipresence masterclass. I've got a six month business mentoring program that I recorded all the sessions and put in the um, rob.team platform. I've got the um, 14 hour 19 ways to 10x your social media following, which is a um, 14 hour course, which you get completely, all of that completely for free for just the cost of a cup of coffee a month. No extra upgrade to pay for all these courses. Often I um, sell courses for a grand or two grand and then I put the recordings into rob.team. Yes, I'm getting asked a lot for the link. The link is B dot T E A M. But you're probably going to have to open up a new browser and type it in rob dot T E A M. Now, give me a yes in the comments if you agree that your network is your net worth. The people you spend the most time with dictates who you become. Would you agree that the positive, inspiring, motivated, educated and smart people around you can make such a huge difference to lift you up in your life? For me, this is everything, by the way. Thank you, Dylan. For me, this is everything. And that's another reason why I built Rob.team. So online, you can access thousands of other entrepreneurs just like you, startups and scale-ups. Some people haven't yet got a business. They don't even know what their niche is, but they're keen and motivated. Some people are six, seven and eight figure entrepreneurs as members of Rob.T. Cool. All right, then. So I'm going to do a quick summary and then I'm going to hand over to the awesome Dylan Denitra. So if you want to make money while you sleep, number one is your products and services must be accessed digitally online, ideally on social media. Social media is not the only way to access your products and services. They can access through search, through SEO, through blogs. But social media is free and pervasive and there's billions of users. That's why I think it's the best. Number two is you must be able to earn on your products or services 24 hours a day, 365. If you close for summer, you close for winter, if you're seasonal, if you close at 5 p.m., you're missing on masses of income. It must be evergreen, it must be scalable, it must serve vast numbers of people, it must be instantly consumable. Now, I want to share with you my favourite digital assets because people have asked. So are you ready? Give me a yes in the comments if you're ready. I'm going to share with you my favourite digital assets that I think are the quickest and easiest to monetize. Number one is membership sites. So Dylan mentioned this to you. If you're watching the Facebook Live, I'm afraid you don't get access to this because this is only at the Recurring Income Summit. But Dylan's already given you an opportunity to build your own six or seven figure subscription site for virtually no money to set it up other than the education, quicker than ever before to launch and easier than ever. It's not like real estate is hard. You've got planning, you've got brokers, solicitors, tenants. You've know, got to deal with finance and mortgages and you know, money laundering and legalities and contracts. Building a membership site is super easy if you know how. So that's probably my top digital revenue source. The second one is YouTube. Now, look, I'm sorry, YouTube, but in 2008, we were married. I was loyal and faithful to YouTube in 2008. And I went and had affairs with TikTok and Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram and now I'm sort of crawling back to YouTube, asking my ex if she'll take me back. YouTube is one of, if, this, if not the best, monetizable channels of social media. I regard it as a social media channel. And I earn £23,000 from one video on YouTube. Now, whilst I have had one-off hits on other channels, YouTube, I actually earn more on Facebook but that's because I earn on five different ways on Facebook. The lives, the supporter program, the ads, the paid live events, 
the, the stars that people donate. So I actually earn seven figures a year from Facebook. But had I been loyal to um, YouTube and not looked to have an open relationship a la Will Smith with YouTube, I might have been like these kids who are earning 20 million a year doing entertainment. So stay loyal to YouTube. And if you're going to have an open relationship, then I would, re I would regard only doing it with podcasts. So podcast, the third digital channel. The reason podcasts are great is because one, now more and more people are listening to podcasts. It's got a lot of growth potential. But two, sponsors pay big money to be on podcasts. Joe Rogan sold his podcast for 200 mil. I, um, Tim Ferriss gets 50,000 an ad and he runs two ads. That's 100,000 an episode. So podcasts have a die-hard loyal following and sponsors and advertisers pay big money. And then the fourth is Facebook. So YouTube, Facebook, podcast, and subscription sites. I reckon they're the top four ways to earn digitally recurring and passive income on social media for free. So make sure you join at rob.team. For five pounds a month, I can teach you loads more of this stuff over and over on repeat got hundreds of hours of content. I do make cash challenges and 10 extra following challenges four times a year. I do mindset and money events twice a year. I do two live masterclasses a month. We should do a masterclass together for Rob.team. Don't think we've done that for a very long time. Um, so I'll see you at Rob.team. The link is in the comments. Love you all. Got to get out of here. Mwah. Hit the share button.